how you could fall out with Brian. Brian's not the sort of person you fall out with. Well, I told you he's changed. He's a homicidal maniac now. <laughs> That's 30 years of friendship down the drain, that is. I shall have a bruise here tomorrow. You're in your second childhood, you know that, don't you? What is that? <laughs> this was my grandmother's. Nice, isn't it? She's not still in it, is she? <laughs> now, Trev, if you need any bread, there's an extra loaf in the freezer. Now, if you take it out before you go to work, it'll be ready by the time you come home. And uh, there's a tin of spaghetti and baked beans. Oh, and I've left a cooked chicken in the freezer. If you take that out before you go to work, it'll be ready by the time you get home. And there's a spare carton of milk. Just a minute. Uh, what's all this? Oh, no, Trev, please, don't do this to me. You know I'm going to my mother's. It was planned months ago, uh, I promised. Be fair. She's hardly seen the baby since he was born. But we've just moved in. She's only 20 miles away. Why can't she come here? Because, oh, great one, we don't have a spare bed. We can always sling a hammock in the back garden. Oh, Trev, I don't want to go, but I have to go. I promised. I know how you feel. You'd be a wrench for any man to be separated from me for more than three minutes. But what about all them odd jobs that they're doing? Oh, yes, that reminds me. You do them. I'm not doing them. I'm not liking that loft. That stuff's dangerous. I'll get that diseased pit pony's getting all my hair will fall out. <laughs> oh, oh, don't go. It's Sunday mm. tomorrow. I'll bet you wouldn't go if I was Alan Bates. <laughs> Alan Bates? Alan Bates. No. <laughs> Give me your glasses. Oh, oh Trev. You've got to put a light bulb in the spare room. Oh, just forget about the bloody light bulb for a minute. <laughs> and answer me this question. Mm. Do you love me? What? Mm? Love, you remember. You take it out the freezer before you go to work and it's ready by the time you come home. Yes, of course I love you. Oh, well, that's all right, then. <laughs> Trev? Mm. Do you love me? Do you know, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> get, get out of it, you little... <laughs> so this is it, huh? <laughs> Now then. Go on, then. Trev, yeah. you wouldn't rather read a book, would you? Oh, no, I'm doing this for the Duke of Edinburgh Ward scheme. <laughs> oh, come on, melt your sod. <laughs> See this? Cigarette cards. People give good money for these now, you know. The British Museum would give its right arm to get its hands on this lot. This room is priceless. Brian? I just, uh, well, the front door were open. Hey, you want to watch that, you know, you're not in Bolton now. I'll tell you what, how's about a rematch? Three falls, two submissions, or a knockout. What do you say? Friends? Yeah, friends. We just got off on the wrong foot, that's all. Oh, yeah. Probably want my jacket, anyhow. Uh, probably. <laughs> I brought you another housewarming present, Trev. It's not another jar of pickled eggs, is it, Brian? I mean, you can't have too much of a good thing, you know. Bob! Yeah. Hey, 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 where'd you get this? Oh, do you remember it, eh? Remember it? Yeah. Well, this is the staple diet of our youth. <laughs> well, I don't know how you do that, Brian. Yeah. Oh, a couple of bottles of this was the equivalent of three square meals a day. <laughs> Foskett's Indian, Indian Pale Ale. Hey. Yeah. Fosk, it's in your pale ale cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Nick! <laughs> ah, it's revolting. Oh, I know. <laughs> it well, always was, Jeff. Why'd we drink it, then? To get drunk, eh? That's <laughs> right. I knew there was a reason. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Eh? Cigarette cards. Association footballers. They're all there, you know. Look, they are. Matthews, Mortensen, Bert Troutman, remember? I should do. That's mine. No, it's not. <laughs> you borrowed it for a day. 
And yeah, it's got my name in front. No, it hasn't. I rubbed it out. Oh, <laughs> Look, it's only an old book, Brian. What else you got to mine, eh? Look, we're going to be childish about it. Take what you want. I will, I will, too. We're going to be childish. You I carry will. on, mate. Damn dear, that's mine, Trev. It's just so... Look, it's just a book, a childish book. But if you want to be childish, you carry on. That's my cup, Trev. It's just so childish. I got that for the 50-yard sack race, Trev. No, you're a child <laughs> at all. It's just so childish, Brian. But play box. Play box, yes, childishness. Just a childish book, that's all. Be trained, sir. You even to be trained, sir. <laughs> sir. Look, if you want to retain these childish things, which are by their very nature childish, and so indicate by implication that the person who wants to keep them is himself childish, you carry on, mate. It's just so childish, that's all. I tell you what, if you were two faced thieving swine 20 years ago, you're still one now. Thank you. You even to be trained, sir. Give it me. You're just so child, so, 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 so childish. Trent, you took me train, said Trent. It's just so childish. It's just the childishness of it all I don't understand, Brian. <laughs> Stink pig! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you want, you stupid, inconsequential little person? It's so nice to be loved, Trev. Oh, Carol, come home. No, I've just got here. Look, come home, Carol. I can't. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll do all them odd jobs. I'm not bothered about the jobs, Trev. I'll do all of them. I'll, I'll, I'll whitewash the fridge. I'll repoint the bath. I'll mow the lawn. What? I said I'll mow the lawn. No, Trev, don't do that. Remember last time. Well, of course, there is an alternative. No, Trev, I won't be blackmailed. Oh, fine, OK. Now, Trev, listen to me. Don't mow the lawn. OK. It'll be fine. This time. No, Trev, don't do that. No, no, Trev, Trev, listen to me. <laughs> Why? I'm not home, Trev. <laughs> Four. Thirty-fiver. Thirty-sixer. Thirty-seven. <laughs> uh, perhaps it's out of petrol. Suck that dog, darling. No, put it down. Mummy uses it to jack up the car. <laughs> Nearly home. What are we gonna do when we get home, eh? Hmm? We're gonna club Daddy unconscious with a blunt instrument. <laughs> Not me. Yes, we are. Four hundred and sixty-nine. I've heard they're cold starters. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I know we haven't spoken much, but I'll tell you one thing. This is between it and me. <laughs> Two million four hundred and seventy-nine thousand six hundred and forty-nine. <laughs> <That's just it. laughs> Is it still under guarantee? I don't know. <coughs> Listen, I know we haven't spoken much, but I'll tell you one thing, right? I love my wife. And I love my kid. But, I don't know, sometimes things just... they just... <laughs> oh, do I never smoke you?
keep away, huh? Do you know where the drill is, Trev? The drill? What do you want the drill for? I'm doing the odd jobs. I'm not talking about the odd jobs, Trev. <laughs> oh, go and lag them off then, shall I? Kind of Living returns to Cult and Select at the same time next week when a quiet dinner turns into a nightmare. Following in just a moment or two tonight, Adam Faith and Zoe Wanamaker star in Love Hurts as Frank proves unable to understand Tessa's priorities. Rip it up, you can't refuse. Snap me up while I'm still 